up guys it's brian for pizza reason and uh, today i'm in the 2018 bmw 530e x drive i performance and i'm going to quickly show you how to set your car up for maximum electric range now this car is set at work i didn't do this video earlier in the morning because um, it was dark and so i didn't think you'd be able to see as much so i've come out of work um, I drove to work. It's 22 miles, so I used a bunch of battery, used some gas. It's been preheating since, uh, I don't know when it started preheating, but it was at about a half battery. Now it's down to about a quarter battery, as you can see there. So here's what we're going to do. Turn the car on. It's on. The engine doesn't start, of course. We're going to make sure the volume's down so we don't get in trouble. I turn on E-Drive, go to Max E-Drive, see if you hit the button there, it'll toggle through. There's three selections. You've got your uh, battery control, which will charge the battery while you drive. Auto E-Drive, you just sort of forget about, um, forget about it and just drive. And then in, what I wanna do today is Max E-Drive. So you take a look at what happened to the left side, you can go a maximum of 90 miles an hour electronically, and you get 60% power. Now this will only happen until you run the battery low, and then it'll switch back over to auto. In addition, I think you ought to hit the Eco Pro button. That will give you um, the most opportunity to coast the car. And um, it's it's good except you get less of an EV experience in this in this case when you're off the throttle you're you're coasting more you're not regenerating quite as much um, and so I'd say if you're in a hilly area maybe you don't want to use Eco Pro maybe you want to use a comfort mode definitely don't use sport mode if you use sport mode the engine runs all the time well that's been a video on how to set your car up for maximum electric range i um, gonna kill the battery here in a couple minutes but let's go ahead and start off if you like this kind of video please let me know and i'll do more of this kind of thing in the future so i'm using brake hold which means every time i go i have to hit the throttle and let's see how far we can go on electric I'm going to try to capture the moment the vehicle transitions from battery to gas. You take a look here at the bottom, you've got a E and then a 44.6. Well, that's how far we've gone on electric since our last gasoline fill up. And the sliding bar gauge to the right is how efficiently we're driving on electric. You can see the average there is 2.6. That means 2.6 miles per kilowatt hour, which isn't bad, being that this is what, like a nine, I think, KWH battery. That means we're going like 18, maybe about 24 miles off per battery charge. That's pretty good. I'll have to see what um, a comparable full electric vehicle can do and you can see the sliding the white ah, it's so bouncy here you can see how that slider that goes left and right how it moves depending on what we're doing if we're accelerating of course then we're going to um, peg the minimum but then once we start coasting like here let's see if we peg the maximum Let's get up to the speed limit at least. <clears throat> I thought this would be faster to hap happen, so we might time warp this section and just skip to the part where it transitions to gasoline. See there, the battery gauge. We're down into the minimum, which is fine. You can drive the full range of the battery. 
you're not doing anything wrong by using your battery full capacity of it. See how the needle on the right just sort of goes to zero instead of going to charge? That's the difference you get with Eco Pro. If I go to normal, or comfort, excuse me, and let off the throttle, now we're automatically recharging, regenerating. Let's go back to Eco Pro. We'll keep it there for the moment. Okay, there we go. You just saw the transition from battery, full battery power to um, gasoline power because the battery was discharged. And again, the battery was discharged because I used it this morning on the way into work. It's, I think, a 26 mile drive. I had to use part, uh, I had to use gasoline part of the way and I used battery a, a good bit of the way. Um, I think, actually, I think I only used gasoline for uh, 11 miles that's pretty good so now we're going to be on gasoline probably the rest of the way except for maybe if we get into a little stop and go traffic as we approach the highway so <clears throat> that has been a quick video on how to set your 530e xdrive i performance or other BMW E X Drive I Performance, or not necessarily even X Drive, but E I Performance vehicle up for maximum battery range, assuming that you plug your vehicle in and charge it as uh, as required, or not as required, but as would be required to get the maximum use out of your battery. Um, I should also point out, if you're new to the BMW or battery platform. Um, we can take a full a full charge in about four hours through a normal 110 15 amp circuit and I think that's important to note because you know yes um, you can't just charge this thing up quickly on a 110 but being that the car is parked overnight it's it's really not an issue uh, we typically plug it in around 5 p.m. and I get a message on my phone by 9 p.m. saying that the car is fully charged and then it stays plugged in until the next morning. We do all preheating while the car is plugged in. And I recommend you do the same. That way you're preheating the car, the cabin, on uh, grid power rather than using the battery. Thanks for watching this video. If you want to see more of this kind of thing, please subscribe to the channel. Check out BeatTurismo.com. Check us out on Instagram at BeatTurismo underscore IG. Thanks for watching. Always remember, keep right, pass left. Thank you.